But let's start here at McGurk Stadium with football, where as you can see behind me, construction on the new team house is nearly complete, allowing some games to be brought back to Western Mass next season. Let's take a look, presented by Mafre Commerce Insurance. This is going to be the new 7,000 square foot weight room for UMass football athletes only. Um, we'll have 15 racks going across there, all custom made from here to here. We got a throwing wall, a custom dumbbell area right over here. There's just so many guys. We're working with 125 players, so you just need hours of trying to get guys in, trying to get guys out. If coach changes something, we can automatically do it here instead of going somewhere else and working around other teams. So having our own stuff, being able to pick our own equipment is going to help us be able to do what's needed to make us better football players. We're standing in the new athletic training room, which is great. We're very fortunate to uh, be in line here in between the locker room and the weight room. Obviously bigger than any facility um, that we've had just for one specific sport and, and uh, almost triple the size of the facility that we use at Gillette right now. We'll have 10 treatment tables so we can get a lot of stuff done at one time here. I'm standing kind of right at the uh, right at the base floor, right in the front of the auditorium room. Uh, it's going to be 120 fixed uh, tiered seats behind me. Um, offense will sit on one side of this auditorium. Defense will sit on the other for their all-team meetings. Right now, we're looking at the the best part of our uh, of our new athletic training room. I think something we'll be able to utilize every day that we haven't been able to do up till now. But we're putting in two plunge pools. One will be hot. One will be cold. And then at the end here, we're going to have a uh, hydro work. So what we'll be able to do is put a guy that's injured in the hydro works. It's an underwater treadmill system that has a current. So when they're injured and they can't necessarily be running, we'll be able to get him in the hydro works, get him running as soon as, uh, say, stitches are healed from a post-surgical or day one from an injury where we can't do stuff on the field. Well, it helps with scheduling. It helps with the injured guys having open hours that we can come in here at any time. If we need to make a change, we can. These guys have been great. Obviously, they've done this before um, because they thought of things during the process that we hadn't thought of. It was really nice to have a lot of uh, input and you get a vested interest in it when they're letting you kind of create your own space. The amount of customization will be probably second to none um, anywhere, especially in the Northeast. We'll have uh, custom racks, custom plates, custom everything um, to UMass standards. So it's really going to be a nice room, uh, but we're going to work it like it's an old school room, that's for sure. Right behind me you'll see the uh, Jacobson uh, Press and Skybox Complex uh, steel erection. We're uh, now finally into the phase of putting it back together after we were able to remove the existing. We're ready to be open uh, with both facilities in July of 2014, so definitely looking forward to it and should be a great opportunity to get the uh, team back playing some games here at home.